Hey there, friends. There's another reason why I try to share as much information with you as possible and why I don't really recommend gear. You're not gonna find me on here going, oh, look at the latest and greatest. Everything I use, I buy. Which brings me to my next point. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Big Ed. I've been making records for over 32 years and I'm here to share some knowledge with you so you don't make the mistakes that I made and get further in your career. It's an accountant for gear. All right, what does that mean? Well, I have an accountant, right? I have a great accountant. I've had the same accountant for 33 years. I think I had him a year before I even got into the music biz. And every year, he breaks down for me. Hey, bud, this is what's going on. Just like any good accountant would, right? Except he says to me, hey, knucklehead, you spent $7,000 last year on music, meaning like on records, because one year he did that. And then the next year he'll be like, you spent $6,000 on plugins this year. And the next year he'll be like, you spent $20,000 on guitars. Because he's trying to get through my thick skull, this matters, it adds up. And Sometimes, a lot of the time, this stuff doesn't retain its value, right? Acoustic guitars, wildly, because they didn't do this 20, 30 years ago, are now worth more than I paid for them. But everything else has drastically decreased, and I want to talk to you about plugins. So my chat with my accountant this week, he's like, Hey man, he's like, um, do you realize that you spend like six or seven thousand dollars a year on software? And I'm like, oh yeah, well you know, there's got to re up on Pro Tools and re up on Bitwig, and then there's upgrades on other things. And he's like, no, I mean, yeah, okay, I get that. That's like fifteen hundred dollars. He goes, but you buy six to seven thousand dollars a year in new plugins and stuff and software. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe. He's like, well, you've been doing that for about 10 years. That's 70,000 bucks that has been flushed down the toilet. Now, not to say that every plugin I own is not worth it, but $70,000 is a lot of money to spend on software. And we can admit Yes, that a lot of this software is grossly overpriced in many cases. A lot of it's affordable, but come on. I mean, two, three hundred dollars for a plugin. I want, I respect the plugin developers and designers, but come on, man. Like, uh, you know, I saw a chat between some, uh, some, some engineers overseas and they're like, you know, how does a kid in India afford that? You know, that's like a month's wages, if not worse. You know what I mean? So it's targeted towards the people like myself who can afford it in countries who can afford it. It's a little over the top. But what's worse about it is it's $70,000 gone gone because I found out this week you can try to sell some of those. Some of those uh, plug-in manufacturers do not allow you to sell your license or transfer it, but some of them do. But you're going to get maybe 30% at best of what you paid. So say you paid $100 for that plug-in, you're not going to get more than 30 bucks. And then there's a competition that arises when you put it up at these websites. You know, you put it up for 35, someone else puts it up for 20, someone else, okay, well then I got to make it 25. And the, the websites are taking a vig, they're taking a cut of it as well. So you end up with nothing. So you might as well just keep it. I haven't decided what I'm doing. I am getting rid of um, like seven or eight of my Acoustica plugins that I don't use because um, you know about my battle with Acoustica. Um, so, you know, and I sold two of them. I mean, they were probably 200 euros worth of plugins and I made back 60. I consider that good, <laughs> that I made back 60. But that's what I want you to think about. It's very difficult to transfer licenses, to resell them. So be very, very careful 
not just with plugins, but when you buy gear, because not everything retains its value and like acoustic guitars increases in value. There's a lot of reasons for acoustic guitars increasing in value that has to do with scarcity and new laws and et cetera, et cetera. But most of the time, gear, software, anything to do with our job in the music business goes down. So do not spend $70,000 on plugins like myself. Out of those 70,000 worth of plugins, I think I use 10. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty accurate. Out of that 70,000, I use about $10,000 worth. And most of the more expensive ones in there are for mastering. You don't need crazy plugins for recording. You just don't. In fact, I heard one of the top engineers in the world, I've been complaining about Oak Sound Soothe and Soothe 2 for many years because when you take all the resonances out of things, it just makes it darker and, and, and it dulls it. And I, I just never really used it that much. And when I do use it, um, it works. It's great plugin. Don't get me wrong. Don't come at me, bro. Um, it's good, but it makes everything dark and sometimes that's not good. So just be careful before you spend your money. Make sure it's something you really need. Do you need that when you're recording, when you're making your music? If you're not a mastering engineer, I would say don't get into the super fancy stuff. And one last thing I would tell you is the stock plugins in your particular DAW. I don't care if it's Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Bitwig, all of them, the stock plugins are pretty damn good. They're good enough to make a record. Just remember that. So don't do what I did. That's another mistake. Do not make. Do not spend your money on stuff like this because you might as well light your money on fire. All right? All right. If you have any questions, let me know.